Hi, everyone. Amazon QuickSight Q is a deep learning-based capability in QuickSight that is built using state-of-the-art machine learning and natural language processing techniques, allowing business users to ask data questions in plain language and get answers instantly. Let's dive into the capabilities of Q. Let's look at the scenario of a sales leader who's trying to find insights from her dashboard to inform next year's planning. Now my dashboard shows a summary of the data, sales per state, sales per product, and some yearly trends. But what if I wanted to understand something not in the dashboard, like the specific sales for the top two performing states, California and New York? Typically, to do that, I would need to cut a ticket or send an email to the BI team and wait for an answer. And since most BI teams are thinly staffed, that answer could come in days or weeks. Now with Q, I can simply type my questions in QuickSight and get answers. Show me last year's weekly sales in California. And Q provides an answer in just a few seconds. Now let's see how it compares to New York. And now Q shows a nice comparison of the two trend lines. It's interesting to see that in March, California sales had a huge spike, and that most likely got them to the top spot in the sales last year. Since Q uses advanced natural language understanding, you can ask the same question in multiple ways. For the same question, let's try asking a different way. Weekly revenue for California versus New York in 2019. And I get the same answer. Typically, users in different functions of the business, from sales, marketing, to finance, often have their own specific language. To understand everyday phrases in these different functions of the enterprise, we partnered with hundreds of teams at Amazon to collect a large volume of real-world data and train Q's models to understand these phrases. So there's no need for users to learn anything new. They ask questions in the natural way they already do, and get answers. Let's continue from our sales example. I know that California was our best performing territory. I want to drill a little deeper and find the best selling product categories in California. All I need to do is ask you, what are the best selling categories in California this year? Ah, it's kitchenware and outdoor. But it's a bit hard to see who are the laggards. How about we change the visual to show a bar chart? In the bar chart, I notice that gaming is underperforming. What's going on? Let's take a deeper look. Let me ask you about the gaming sales trend at the monthly level. As you can see, our category name was gaming. And as I type, Q auto suggested the category name for me, so I don't need to remember the exact name. Let me go with what Q suggested and complete the rest of the question. Ah, looks like gaming sales went up in spring and summer, but went down in winter. Look how easy it was for me to get these insights. Also notice, in my last question, I asked for revenue. Q understood that I meant the sales column in the data, and even understood my incorrect spelling of California. Q comes with the built-in dictionary to really understand user intent and context and help get the right answer. And if Q doesn't get something quite right, it learns from your feedback and gets better over time. The human in the loop helps improve Q's answers over time. This answer looks good to me, so let me click on looks good. This feedback is passed on to BI teams who can add more data or improve the data to answer more questions. Getting started with Q is incredibly easy. Once you have connected Q with your existing data, Q automatically generates a knowledge layer that captures the meaning and relationship of your data, allowing you to start asking questions in natural language in a matter of minutes from all your data, not just a specific data set or dashboard. And getting started is just the beginning. Q uses machine learning models to continuously improve with no machine learning expertise required. It's incredibly exciting to be able to reinvent BI using machine learning with Amazon QuickSight Q. Thank you.